Hi guys, I have a reformer class for you today. It's gonna to be a quick class using just one blue spring on your reformer, which is one medium spring. Um, as always, don't forget before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys can leave me those super thanks. And then as always, every Monday, Wednesday, you guys will get that free content. Every Friday now will be for members only. That is just to help grow, support my page again, so that I can keep giving you guys new content every week. Thank you so, so much for the support. Okay, so one blue spring is our theme today. We're gonna start with our foot bars all the way down. Headrests are gonna be down. And then we're actually gonna start with a spinal stretch before we move. So let's walk around to the front of our reformers. We're gonna stand right in front of our foot bars. Now, if the foot bars are guys being down, if you feel too far away, you can always go ahead, put your foot bar up and just fold over. I feel fine where I'm at, so I'm just gonna keep mine down. Hands are on the two front corners of the carriage. We're just doing a quick spinal stretch here. So we're gonna push our carriages out. Our chests are gonna drop down in between our arms. Our heels stay anchored, our hips stay back. And then we're gonna tuck our pelvis around through our spine to bring the carriage all the way back in. So again, I'm gonna inhale to push the carriage out chest drops down and then on my exhale i'm going to tuck around and come back in we're going to go for two more here around to come back in think like cat cow and then last one we can inhale press heels anchored hips back chest down and then exhale tuck around come back in all right now once that carriage clicks home one vertebrae at a time we are going to roll our spines all the way up when we get up we're going to kneel on our reformers and face the straps okay so when we kneel down you guys we're going to start with the right strap into our hand you can go long loop or short loop it's up to you long loop as always for arms will be lighter short loop will be heavier i'm going to start with my short see how i feel the right arm is going to go to the outside frame of the carriage and our palm is facing back and then from here i am resting my left forearm against my shoulder block when my hand is in my headrest just for a little extra stability shoulders over the hands hips are right over the knees from here eyes are going to look down to the floor we're going to exhale press our palms straight back to our hip and then we're going to inhale return it back down towards the floor so we're going to exhale press back to our hip and then we're going to inhale return back down stability comes from that left arm and our core we are exhaling to press inhaling to return we should really feel our lats engaging here now if you guys feel comfortable you can reach your left leg back you can hold your leg back and you can make this a balance exercise as well that is up to you you guys can always keep your left knee down if you don't feel comfortable balancing we're exhaling to press back we are inhaling to return i'm keeping my abs right into my back now the next time we press our palm to our hip we're going to hold it there bend our elbow for our tricep press we're exhaling to press back and then we're inhaling to bend now again up to you guys if you keep your left leg away from the body or if you set the left knee back down again that just adds in a little extra work for our balance tricep extensions we bend the elbow we extend the hip we inhale we bend we exhale we press extend eyes stay looking to the floor abs still into the back we're going to go for two and then last one okay now once we bend the elbow we're going to relax our left knee down if it's up we are going to choke up onto the strap so grab right where the loop connects to the rope pull in long loop goes onto the arch of your right foot now if you guys want a little heavier for your glutes feel free to go to your short loop instead of your long i'm going to stay with my long again shoulders over the hands hips are right over the knees stabilize from the shoulders and core we're going to exhale kick our right leg straight back and slightly up to the ceiling inhale bend back in exhale press a little lift of that leg and then inhale back think squeeze your glutes as you kick back so glute max hamstring really working we're exhaling away inhaling back as always eyes you guys just looking right down at the floor so that our neck stays in line with our spine our shoulders hips are parallel to the floor we're going to push back three more times with that right leg two all right, now the next time we kick it back, we're gonna hold our leg back. We dip the toes straight down to the springs. We lift straight up. So we go springs and lift, springs and lift. We should really feel our glute max and hamstring kicking in here. So we go springs, lift, 
springs lift right into that butt, right where your glute connects to your hamstring. We dip for four, three, straight down, straight up. Last one out the top, we hold, we flex the foot. We do little circles of this leg. Think hip, shoulder stay parallel to the floor, circling from the head of the femur in that hip socket. Glute men working on that circle. Four, three, two, one, reverse. They're like dessert plate size circles, maybe dinner plate size circles. Reverse, again, shoulders, hips stay parallel to the floor. Movement comes right from the head of the femur in that hip socket for three, two, one, bend the knee. Okay, from here, we're keeping the strap on our right foot. We are going to carefully rotate to the left side of the reformer. So hands are on the outside of the carriage. Our knees are gonna rotate with us. And then I'm gonna have my hands a little wider than my shoulders just for a little extra stability here. Knees should be straight through the hands. Now. From here, the idea when we kick this right leg back, you guys, is it stays in line with our sits bones. We don't let the strap pull our leg to the right side. So I'm gonna exhale, kick my right leg back and slightly up, and then bend back in. So kick the leg back and up, bend back in. Exhale, press, inhale back. The carriage should move when we do this. If your carriage isn't moving, that means that that strap is pulling your leg to the right. Stabilize from your shoulders and your core. Should feel those adductors working to keep that leg center. Exhale, press. Inhale, back to me. Three, two. Okay, now on this last one, we have to hold our leg back. We wag the tail, the pelvis, you guys will move a little bit. So we're gonna go right with the leg. We're gonna go slightly across the body to the left. We go right, we go slightly across the body to the left. Wag the tail, again, the pelvis can move a little bit here. We go right, slightly across the body to the left for four. <sighs> Stabilize from those shoulders and core. Two. <sighs> And then last one. Okay, we'll bend the knee. We're gonna take that strap off of our foot. Okay, now once we take that strap off, we can rotate back towards our headrest. And then we are going to keep this right strap, you guys. You are going to rotate now to the left side. So we're facing the opposite direction. The legs, I'm gonna set mine up just a few inches away from the shoulder blocks to make this a little heavier for myself. You guys can go against the shoulder blocks to make it lighter. Long loop lighter for your arms, short loop heavier for your arms. Arms are gonna open out nice and wide. Knees can be about hip distance away, maybe a little wider than that. Shoulders are down, hug a tree. On an exhale, we bring the fingertips together. We inhale to open the arms out. Exhale, fingertips together and inhale open. So we exhale to come together, inhale open, hug a tree. Our arms, when we come together, guys, should be in a circle, not an oval. Shoulders are down, exhale together, inhale return. Feeling that left arm working here. We have three, inhale open for two, Okay, now on the last one, we lace our fingers together. We keep that circle. We let the strap pull us to the left side of the room. And then we exhale, we pull, we rotate to the right. So we inhale, we rotate left. We exhale, we rotate right. Again, keep that circle of the arms. No ovals. Arms are away from the body. The shoulders, again, are down out of the ears. Our collarbones are staying nice and wide. We inhale left. We exhale, we rotate right. We want those obliques to fire. Now making sure when you guys rotate right, your left shoulder doesn't kind of rotate up. So that left shoulder needs to stay down when we rotate towards the foot bar. Two more. And then last one. All right. Now, once we come back, I am personally gonna change my long loop for this one because I don't love deltoids. We're gonna do deltoids and traps. We're going to carefully, the strap should be in the left hand too, you guys. Carefully take your hands to the front of your reformer this time. Legs go through your headrest. Again, 
long loop or short loop in your left hand. I chose to do my long loop just because we were doing deltoids and traps. Hands should be right underneath your shoulders. The left elbow is gonna bend wide at a 90 degree angle and the palm is gonna be rotated towards the floor. So think like a half of a gold post. Exhale, we're gonna reach our left arm straight forward, bend wide at a 90, exhale forward, inhale, bend wide. The palm should be facing the floor the entire time. Again, deltoids into those traps. Exhale out. Inhale back, let's go for four, three. Shoulders, hips should be parallel to the floor. Two, and then last one. Okay, set your left hand down. We are going to take your left foot onto the carriage very carefully. We are going to very carefully kneel. Again, long loop, short loop up to you guys. Both elbows are gonna be into your sides. Palms should be flipped up to the ceiling, moving into our offering. We're gonna exhale, reach our arms away from the body, shoulder, chest height, inhale, bend back in. Exhale to reach out, inhale back, our shoulders are down, collarbones wide. We exhale to reach, we inhale to return for three, two, Okay, now on this last one, we stay with the arms long. We lower them straight down to the hips. We exhale to lift straight back up, back into those deltoids. Lower both arms, lift both arms. Find that stability, legs, glutes, core. Inhale, lower, I'm feeling that bicep working as well. Let's go three, two, and then last one. Whew, ouch. Okay, we're hanging that strap back up onto the peg and then we are doing the same thing on the other side. Now, we just use the left arm so this is not gonna feel great. We are kneeling, we're facing the straps again. Hands should be on the outside of the headrest, shoulders over your hands, hips are right over your knees, so we're right into that four point kneeling position. We're grabbing the left strap, long loop, short loop, whatever you guys use on the last side, I use my short loop. Arm is nice and long at your side, palm faces back. Abs are into your backs. We're gonna exhale, press our palm back behind us. Inhale, return. Exhale, press. Inhale, return. Now again, if you want to challenge yourselves a little more, you can reach your right leg straight back and you can try to do this balancing. Up to you guys, eyes look to the floor. You should really feel your lats, those nice big muscles that run up and down the sides of your back. Triceps are engaged as well. We exhale to press, we inhale, return. We have three, abs into your back, two. Okay, now on this last one, we have to hold the arm back. Bend the elbow, tricep extensions, inhale, we bend and then we exhale, we press. Again, right leg, you guys can be down or up. That is up to you for these triceps, shoulders, hips, parallel to the floor. We inhale to bend and we exhale to press. Two more. And then last one. Whew, okay. If your right knee is up, set it down. Again, we're gonna go long loop or the short loop onto the arch of your left foot. If you guys need to get off of your wrist, reminder, you can always drop down onto your forearms here. You can have your forearms onto the shoulder blocks too if that feels fine. Otherwise, hands are in your headrest, shoulders of the hands, hips are out of the knees. I did long loop again on this side. Ready, we're gonna kick our left leg back and slightly up. We bend to come back in. Our shoulders, our hips are still parallel to the floor. Eyes are still to the floor. We inhale to bend, we exhale to press and lift the leg slightly up. Just warming up our legs and our glutes on this one. Bend and exhale, stretch. Think squeeze your butt. Trying to get that glute maxifier, right where your glute connects to your hamstring. We're gonna go for four. Two. Okay, on this last one, we hold our leg back. We dip the toes straight down to the floor. We lift straight up. We go straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Again, eyes just looking right 
to the floor. Dip, lift, dip, lift, abs into our backs. Really feeling our glutes now. Inhale to dip, exhale to lift back up. Let's go four, lift. Two, okay, now on our last one, we have to hold the leg up, flex the foot, little circles. Think again like dinner plate, uh, dessert plate size circles. The hips, you guys, stay parallel to the floor. The movement comes right from the head of the femur. Glute men work in here. Three, two, one, reverse. Eight, seven. Get that movement right from the head of the femur in that hip socket. Four, three, two, one. Bend your knee. Okay. Strap stays on your foot. We carefully take our hands to the right side of our carriage. We carefully take our knees as well. So my hands again are set out wider than my shoulders. My knees are straight through my hands. So they're at the center line. Again, the idea guys is when we kick the left leg back, it's right in line with your left sits bones. The strap doesn't pull your leg to the left side. So the carriage should move. We're gonna exhale, kick back and slightly up, bend in, press little lift, bend in again. Shoulders, hips parallel to the floor, stabilizing from your shoulders and your core. You should feel that left inner thigh working to keep your leg center. Bend and exhale, press. We have four, three, I'm really feeling my obliques, two. Okay, now on our last one, we have to hold, wag the tail again, the pelvis will move. So we go left, we go right slightly across the body. Left, right slightly across the body. Again, don't worry about a little movement of your pelvis, you guys. Stabilize from shoulders, core, feeling this all over the body. Inhale, left. Exhale, pull slightly across the body to the right. Three, two, last one. Okay, then we are bending the knee. We are going to take that strap off of our foot. We're gonna rotate back towards the headrest. Then we rotate to the left this time. Again, long loop, short loop up to you guys. I'm setting up just a few inches away from my shoulder blocks. You can always go into your shoulder block to make this lighter. I use the short loop, which is heavier on the last side. Gotta use it on this side. Arms are open out nice and wide. Slight little bend to those elbows. We exhale, we go fingertips together. Inhale, open. Exhale, fingertips together. Inhale as we open together and open again. We go circle and then inhale as we open our arms back out. No ovals. Hands should be right in front of your chest. Shoulders are down, collarbones wide. Last one, then we lace them together, we hold. We inhale, we rotate to the right. We exhale, we pull, rotate left. Inhale right, exhale left. Again, shoulders stay down, keep that circle. Using our obliques to rotate. Shoulders down, collarbones wide. Three more. And then last one. Okay, now once we come back, we're gonna pause. Again, I'm gonna switch my long loop. Hands carefully go onto the front of your carriage, closer to your foot bar. Legs go through your shoulder blocks or your head rest. Hand should be about shoulder distance away. We're gonna bend our right elbow at a 90 degree angle, the palm should be facing the floor. So half of a gold post. We exhale to reach straight forward. We inhale, we bend. Exhale forward, bend. Again, shoulders, hips parallel to the floor. Deltoids, traps, biceps. Bend wide, exhale, press. 
three, two, and then last one. Okay, then we take that hand down. We take our right foot very carefully onto the carriage, and then we kneel nice and tall, carefully. Again, long loop, short loop in your right hand. Both elbows bent into your sides, palms are flipped up. Offering, we exhale to reach away. We inhale to bend to come back in. Exhale out, inhale back. Hands go about chest, shoulder height. Shoulders are down, collarbones are wide. Exhale to reach, inhale back. We have four more. Lots of biceps and deltoids. Two. Okay, now in our last one, we're gonna hold straight down with the arms and then exhale, lift straight up. Again, shoulder, chest height. Straight down, exhale, straight up. Back into biceps, deltoids. Inhale, lower. Exhale to lift. Three, two, and then last one. Woo, okay. Relax, hang that strap up, and we're gonna step off to these sides. Okay, walk around to the front of your reformers. Again, in front of your foot bars. If this foot bar is in the way, you guys put it up. We fold forward. Hands go into the two front corners of their carriage. Same way that we started. We're gonna push the carriage out. Let the chest drop down in between our arms. Heels stay anchored, hips stay back. And then we're gonna exhale, tuck round to come back in like a cat cow. Inhale to push out. Chest drops down. And then exhale, Talk round to come back in. Let's do three more. Two. And exhale around. And then last one, inhale as we push out. And then exhale as we round to come back in. Now once we come back in, pause. Head heavy, chest heavy. One vertebrae at a time, we're gonna roll our spines all the way up. The shoulders come up, the head comes up. We give our shoulders a little roll back. We're gonna inhale, reach our arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring them down to our sides. All right, when you guys bring them down to your sides, you are all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed that class. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me those super thanks. Thank you so much.